If I were to ask you, why do you think you gained weight? You would probably say sedentary lifestyle or hereditary problem or that it runs in the family or that you can't starve to lose weight. This is only a tiny, tiny part of the actual reasons. With so many myths flying around, there is actually very little understanding even among the medical and nutritionist community as to why we actually gain weight. We believe there are seven root causes of obesity and these are the same causes that also lead to other obesity-related lifestyle health disorders like diabetes, thyroid, PCOS, etc. Let me tell you about these seven causes. Number one, hormonal imbalance. Hormones decide pretty much everything that happens inside your body. So it'll serve you well to serve them well. Number two, internal inflammation. This is the invisible inflammation, basically something that causes your internal organs to be under stress. Imagine the body fighting irritants inside the body that no one else can see. This is the internal inflammation that also leads to various diseases including obesity. Number three, gut bacteria imbalance. The ratio of good bacteria to bad bacteria in our stomach is usually 85% to 15%. When we maintain this ratio, we are in good health and can lose weight more easily. Number four, nutritional imbalance. Lack of healthy foods can lead to several nutritional deficiencies like omega-3 deficiency, magnesium deficiency, vitamin B, vitamin D deficiency. And such deficiencies not just affect your health, but also your weight. Number five, lack of sleep is another major cause of health issues including weight gain. If you don't sleep enough, it affects your hormones. Number six, stress. Stress is one of the biggest contributors to weight gain, so you must keep your mind at peace. Number seven, toxicity. According to research, several contributory factors lead to accumulation of body fat, and they can be traced to environmental toxins or artificial preservatives found in food. See, these were the seven causes, but I believe there is an overarching reason that governs all of the above that I just mentioned. What is the underlying factor that runs across all causes? It is your social connections. It includes your family and friends you spend the most time with. Our immediate family, our parents, grandparents, siblings, childhood friends are the first social connects we make. We don't just inherit genes, we also inherit habits, lifestyle, timing of food, type of staple food, social obligations, sleep time, TV time. Each family has its own life and the basic staple habits are formed in the first few years of childhood. Our social connections influence us to form our perception of what is an acceptable behavior, an acceptable food choice, an acceptable lifestyle pattern and possibly an acceptable body size. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine found that a person's chances of becoming obese increased by as much as 57% if she had a friend who became obese. Among adult siblings, if one became obese, the chance that another would too increased by 40% and if a spouse became obese, the likelihood that the other partner would also gain weight increased by 37%. See? Weight is contagious. Think about the fittest person you've met. Now think about three people whom she or he hangs out with most. Now you see how your social connections influence who you are. It is said that you are the average of three people you spend maximum time with. You can't always choose who you spend time with, but you can always choose what you do in the time that you spend with them. If you want to eat healthy, your family, your group of friends, your immediate social circle must do the same. It's in your best interest and theirs too to get them to start eating healthy too. It'll help you be on track and also have more fun while doing that. Remember, birds of a feather flock together. Please think about your three friends or family members with whom you spend the maximum time with. Let's get them started on healthy eating and healthy lifestyle too.